Shard Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Avengers Age of Ultron Movie Infinite Series Amazon exclusive four pack set. This set includes Thor, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Marvel's Hawkeye. Not to be confused with the DC Comics Hawkeye, right? No, there's no such thing. I do like how we get the Avengers initiative right over there at the very bottom. And then on the side right over here, you get this image in red and you see all four characters, but of course, Bruce Banner's in his Hulk form over there. And then on the back of the packaging, you see there's a read up on Hawkeye. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then on the other side of the packaging, you can see the same red image right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Hawkeye out of the packaging, and I can't be too excited about this figure, especially because I already have the first Avengers Hawkeye figure, which was the Walmart exclusive. If you had missed out on that figure, and this is your chance to get a Hawkeye figure for your Marvel Legends collection, so you should be very happy. But it's not too different from that other version. Uh, we get the same body mold, slightly different paint applications, slightly different quiver, brand new head sculpt, so I'm very happy about that. But aside from that, really nothing new. But anyway, let's take a closer look at this. So we get the same bow that we've been getting with our Hawkeye figures lately. Whether it's comic version or the movie version, it's the same bow. So yeah, it doesn't really... Yeah, I just got this plastic piece right over here. And that always looks weird. And if you leave it like that, it'll get warped and stay looking weird forever. So I modified my first Hawkeye bow right there. So you can see I had this string added right there and then glued it to the sides. So this has been working out pretty well for me. You could try something like that if you wish. And then looking at the quiver, it is slightly different from the first movie Hawkeye version that we had gotten. When this first came out, it was just flat right over here. I modified this and drilled some holes into it right there and then added some Series 7 arrows, you know, just because I was just really bothered by it not having any arrows in it. But this one certainly does have the arrows sticking out and you get an added sculpted little part right over here. As you can see on the top, this doesn't have that little band thing going around there. And of course, they added some burgundy paint to this, making it look pretty sweet. But what's not sweet is when you plug this into his back, you get this crazy gap right there there and that bothers me a little bit. It's mostly because he doesn't have that same strap piece going around the torso like the first version did. So he's looking at the head sculpt, which is probably the most this figure has going for it. I gotta be honest with you, I was bummed out when they announced this figure because I wanted a new mold. I wanted the one where he had the trench coat, you know, but you know, there's a lot of people that missed out on the first version, so here you go. And we get this guy without his sunglasses, which is more movie accurate, so I'm happy to see that. I think the sculpt looks pretty good. I don't think they nailed the likeness of Jeremy Renner with this. It looks like him a little bit, but not all the way, you know, it's like almost there. So I'm gonna say like, yeah, it didn't look like him at all, he dug me Jeremy. It looks like him a little bit. I could see Jeremy Renner in there, I just don't think it's dead on. And speaking of not being dead on, this paint right here just bled right over there on the forehead. Get some nice sculpted wrinkles on the forehead though that look pretty good. And I like that the eye paint came out pretty clean. So aside from that hair and over there with the hair, uh, it looks pretty good with the paint. So I'm happy about that because the head sculpt is probably the best part of having this figure. Then the hair doesn't have any shadowing effect or anything like that. We did get a textured effect with the original one. So you can see right there we do get color variation. But yeah, this guy, no. I guess this is our new Matt Murdock head sculpt. I'll be waiting for that figure. Then if you look at the torso over here, you can see that it's slightly different than this one. This has the strap going around it which kind of covers up that little patch that we, or that little space that we had on the back over there, so that's why we have that. They did still apply the silver coming down right here. You get no Avengers A or Shield logo. Uh, this did not have so much of the glossy paint right there on this section. This has a glossy black paint. The flesh tone is slightly different, but very similar. So, yeah, they're very similar in that regard. This left hand has that purplish color right there. This one just has uh, more of a burgundy color. So you can really see the color differences between the two figures right over here. You know, so I guess this darker look looks pretty cool. And they still have the silver paint right over there. The legs are painted a little bit differently. We get a little bit more glossy black on this one. You can see the knee pads don't have the black. This one does. Nice shiny black boots. This one has buckles painted on the boots. This one does not. But we still get the buckles right up over here. 
along with a pier on this one. So there's nothing really new going on articulation wise with this figure. The head still cannot look up. Uh, so disappointing. And it cannot look down either. You do get the side to side movement. Tiny bit of head pivot over there. The shoulders move outward that much. You can rotate them forward. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. The wrists do swivel side to side. On the left arm, you get this hinge up and down. And on the right side, you get the side to side movement like rolling dice, which is helpful for holding the bow. You get this really weak diaphragm joint over here, which I do not like. I just can't stand this thing. You get some pivot right over there. It does rotate side to side. Barely any crunching, man. That is so frustrating. Yeah. You do get these big old ball jointed hip joints right here. You can move outward that much. It doesn't kick as much forward as I'd like him to, though. That's a bit frustrating. Moves back, uh, none. And then you get the upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and then the ankles do move down. They move upward only a tiny bit and he does have ankle pivot. So here's the two movie Hawkeyes side by side and I noticed a couple of details here that they actually approved upon with this one. For instance the hinge right here on the left hand that is black as opposed to a flesh colored hinge right over there. I remember complaining about that before. And to see some head swap action and there that is. So I'm thinking this is my ultimate Hawkeye figure right over there. I just think this looks so much better now. And then to compare this Hawkeye figure to some other Age of Ultron figures we have AOU Captain America, Mark 43 Iron Man and the Ultron build a figure. And then here's Hawkeye next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. So Hawkeye, you and Black Widow, Budapest, what happened over there, huh? Got any juicy stories? You can tell your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Okay, look, I'll let you shoot me in the face with one of those stun arrows, but- <laughs> And here's a Hawkeye figure pose pulling on his bow, and it does look strange. I don't know, and you get the arm kind of more towards the center of his torso instead of sticking away from him, so... I can't say I really like this figure a lot. I wish we had gotten a brand new mold, but who knows? We might be able to get a brand new mold in the future. There will be more Hawkeyes, right? I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shard in your face. If you want contribute to the channel, go ahead and check out the Patreon account, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Except it actually, okay, nope.